Hey guys, Rising here. And Liz. So the Patriots win 30 to 0. Oh, wait, no. Gunner decided that he's going to muff the ball and score for uh, the Jets. And then Stidham decided he was playing for the Jets. So um, it's 30 to 14, and they cost themselves the shutout that they would have had. So uh, that's not, that's, that doesn't exactly make me too happy. But whatever, we'll go through the game. Uh, Jets receive, pretty much punt. They get a first down and punt. And pretty much, a, pretty much punt the whole pretty game. Pretty much punt the whole game. Um, Patriots use a lot of Brandon Bolden in this game. Actually get a big pass to Izzo. Izzo had a good game today. Uh, touchdown for Michelle. First drive, so. And then Steven decides that he's allergic to uh, the... Football. No, he's allergic to the goalposts, so he decides to miss another extra point. To be fair, he made all the other ones, but... Kick some extra ones in practice, man. I don't know what to tell you. 6-0. Um, Jets 3-0. and out. Have a horrible punt. Patriots have a good drive. Ends with a Dorsett touchdown. Dorsett's a damn good player. Steven decides to barely make the extra point because, again, he's allergic to the goalposts. It's 13-0. Patriots uh, get a three and out on the Jets again. Pretty much a recurring thing. Edelman, uh, next drive is basically the Edelman drive. He uh, decides to drop the easy one, catches a really hard pass, and then gets a touchdown. So it's 20-0. Uh, and then the second quarter basically decides to just be a punt fest. I mean, both teams just punt all the way. I'm going to skip most of the second quarter. The only thing I've noticed is that the Patriots just, again, dominate defensively the entire quarter. Uh, just crazy. Uh, Edelman and Gordon got shaken up. Gordon broke his, like, dislocated his finger. Or something. Um, he should do that more often because he was a monster upon dislocating it. Yeah, when, after he came back into the game, the catch he made near the goal line was amazing. And then he caught a ball on, like, triple quadruple coverage. coverage. It was crazy. So, uh, yeah, I guess he should dislocate more of his fingers because it seemed to help him. Yeah, he was really good at, after that um, happened. Edelman hurt his chest, did not come back in the game. I don't know how. He caught the ball, and it doesn't look like anybody kicked him in the chest or Nothing elbowed happened. him in the chest or hit him in the chest. I mean, really? He, he seemed like he was... <sighs> Like gasping for air, so I don't like, know like if he, he had like a bruise or something, or if he like what's it called? He couldn't have punctured his lung. That's no something way. else that would cause something like that. But he didn't. It didn't seem Nothing. like anybody hit him there. No, nope. he was barely touched at all. So it's, it's we have no bizarre. idea. It's, I, I don't know what happened. Yeah, he obviously didn't. I know don't that. think it's serious because I mean, literally, he wasn't touched. I don't think he was touched, but like, he was tapped, barely. But it wasn't like somebody. But he was going him. to the ground himself and just kind of got tapped on the back, which I don't even understand how that hurts your chest. Yeah, nobody, you know, kicked him or anything. That's why we don't understand what don't, happened to him. I don't get him. it. Anyway, third quarter, Pats get the ball first. They get screwed on a a uh, BS Dorset non-catch that was a catch. I have no idea what the officials were looking at. He scooped it and held it to his chest to go into the ground, I mean... It sounds like they were saying that they thought he, like, bobbled the ball no, or something. No, I think the announcers were saying because the camera went behind his back and they couldn't see where the ball but was... But it was clear But it's clearly this. like this. Like, clearly, I mean, his hands were underneath it. What, do you think the ball rolled out of his hands magically when he turned the other direction? First of all, he did what you're taught to do. Roll away from the ground. Yeah. You're gonna Now, now we're penalizing guys for rolling away from the ground? Yeah. What, are you supposed to know where the goddamn camera is? I mean, they were so far ahead that it didn't really matter, but, but it's I mean, still it's, it's still BS. Yeah. It, I mean, if that's not a catch, then there's no such thing as a catch. Yeah, these rules are awful. I mean, how can you have all those cameras and you can't get a different angle? Yeah, how come they couldn't get one from the, the opposite side so they could see where the ball was going? I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, either. um... Falk was uh, picked off on the next play anyway, so it's irrelevant. Devin McCourty. Oh, this is where Gordon broke his finger. Or dislocated his finger, but they snapped it back into place. And I guess he enjoys his finger dislocated because uh, he was really good afterwards. It was funny because he caught the ball with the opposite hand. So he, yeah, hit, no. he, he broke like his ring finger or something. Or his I think pinky, it was pinky. I don't know. They, they taped his pinky and his index finger together. So then he was do. catching with his right hand. Anyway, field goal's good um, on that drive. 23-0. Jets three and out. Who the hell is going to score on this defense? The only reason there were scores was because of the special team's flunder yep. and then the uh, Stidham's. So they had uh, next drive. There was a BS uh, intentional grounding call against the Patriots. Um, 
it was deflected at the line by a Jets defensive lineman. I don't know how you can call intentional grounding on that. I mean, Brady's screaming like he deflected it. Yeah. What are you talking about? Just a lot of nonsense. Nonsense. <laughs> Calls. Well, it's third and 22, so Brady decides, well, screw you. I'm just going to complete a 22-yard first down then to Gordon. He does, and Gordon makes the most ridiculous catch of the year. Um, <laughs> and that was probably the easier of the two catches he made tonight. Yeah, the other one well, was crazy. One was crazy. Uh, anyway, touchdown to Burkhead, 30-0. Guess what? The Jets punt. Again. And uh, Gunner decides that he wants to be cut by the Patriots, so he muffs it, then proceeds to throw it into the end zone, and the Jets score. He pulled a classic. He pulled a Cyrus Jones. Yeah. And then Chris Harper. You remember that kid who yep. used to do the same thing? I would not expect Gunner to be on this team following It's the unfortunate next because I really like him. You can't do that. It's literally the only job he has. They didn't bench him, though. No, but... They kept him in. They might give him one more chance, but, I mean, he, it's I mean, they gave, but I mean, if you think about it, they gave Cyrus Jones a lot of chances. I know, because Cyrus was so damn good in practice. But, yeah. But we were pissed that they kept giving him chances. Like I know. It was like enough is enough. Enough is enough, but whatever. I mean, uh, this, this is basically strike one. I mean, strike two, I think he should be out. So, we'll see. I mean, fourth quarter, uh, Gordon gets his second amazing catch in like quadruple coverage. No, I don't even know how he caught it. I don't know. I he mean, like just went up and Brady got it. Brady threw it the only way place that Gordon could get it. He got oh, it. He went up vertically, yeah. And unfortunately, they still have to punt. Uh, so I think this was also the drive where Dorsett had a little end around and uh, Brady was the lead blocker on it. So that it was, was hilarious to watch. Brady was just like, eh. He has no technique blocking. Anyway, uh, so the Patriots punt. <laughs> they pretty much annihilate the Jets again defensively. Another sack. It's an amazing pass rush. Um, they got five sacks in this game. So Brady comes out for Stidham. I guess Stidham doesn't know what color he throws to because he proceeds, first he gets a good pass to Dorsett. Then he proceeds to miss a wide open Brandon Bolden in the flat. How the hell do you miss a flat pass? He overthrew him like. It's, it's the easiest pass in the, in the game. There's no excuse. And he didn't just like, this isn't like, you know, you threw too hard and it goes through the guy's hands he just above went, his head. No, he missed him by about five yards. <laughs> so pick six to Jamal Adams. Now it's 14-30 and you got to bring Brady back in. I mean, on the plus side, it's good learning experience for him. I, I guess, but it's also it also means that the Jets covered the spread on nonsense. Yeah. So, anyway, Brady's back in. Um, uh, they get the uh, the punt by Bailey that was good and the amazing play by Matthew Slater who uh, caught it at the one and as he's going out of bounds before he touches the end zone, he kind of drops, drops the ball perfectly at the one and I believe Jonathan Jones just picks it up. Somebody so, does, yeah. Matthew Slater's a Hall of Famer, guys. Like He's the best gunner in the history of football. He's also one of the last people who play so, that position. Yeah, I mean, too. it's a dying position, which I think is a shame because... Yeah. Because he's done that in several games it's, where he saved it's, us. and It's an amazing, I mean, it's, it's field position's important, you know? It's like fullbacks are dying, and I don't know why. Oh, Jacobs was... Didn't really play at really all. Didn't really do much. And he didn't, they didn't really use him at they all. They hardly used him. Anyway, um, Jets go three and out. For some reason, they run the ball on third and three. I mean, the Jets' game plan was, Le'Veon Bell, run the ball. Le'Veon Bell, throw him the ball. That was pretty much it. None of the other players did anything. They didn't even do an adjustment at halftime. Like, no. like how, do you, how do the Jets come into this game not realizing the Patriots are going to take away your best player? Like, how, I don't know. What the hell? It was bizarre. It was bizarre. I mean, they're probably going to get their asses kicked anyway because nobody's open, but it's not the point. Like, you got to at least try. Yeah. You had one-on-one -on -one coverage. you got to have a 50-50 ball at some point. Anyway, the Jets, uh, they punt, pay the Pats punt, Jets turn over on downs, the Pats get another sack here. They win 30-14. Really, they dominated. This should be 30-0. Yeah. So, um, still no defensive touchdown. I know you can say it's the Jets in Miami, but one of those teams was the Steelers before the Steelers got crippled. True. So, if I'm Kansas City... Watch out, boys. Watch. <laughs> That's you all better, I have You better to say. figure something out because this defense may be the best defense I've ever seen. So, at least for the Patriots. Yeah. This rivals their 0-3 defense, and it might be better. 
Probably is better. They have not only the best secondary, they have a Seattle Seahawks Legion of Boom level secondary combined with the best pass rush in the NFL right now. Yeah. So they got the best linebacking core too. I mean, what do you do? Jamie Collins, by the way, gets a game ball. He was a monster tonight again. Yeah. And he's unreal. And offensively, it's kind of hard to single somebody out. I guess Brady, because he's a 300-yard game for him. Yeah. I wouldn't say any one particular pro I mean, maybe Dorsett. He, he was That'll really good. That'll if he didn't go out, but he went out. I guess so. Dorsett. He stood out to, to me. Dorsett? Well, he only got, like, how many catches did he have? Six, yeah, six for 53. Yeah, and I'll go over the stats. Brady was 28 of 42, 306, two touchdowns. Stidham was two of three with an interest with a touchdown for the wrong team. 14 yards. Just a little bitter, guys. Rex Burke had 11 carries, 47 yards. Actually had a nice, decent game running. Sony Michelle, nine carries, 11 yards, man. They, they took the run away. I don't know what's going on with them. They better figure something they out. They took them away. That's my theory. I don't think so. I, I do. I think there's something wrong. This, this, the the line is not run blocking as well. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of people in there that are brand new it's to the team. Karras and, and Newhouse. Newhouse was good pass blocking, though. Um, yeah, nobody else ran well. Bolden was two for minus two. Oh, God, that's terrible. Josh Gordon, six catches, 83 yards. Had a really crappy first half. Amazing second half. After he broke his finger. So, Josh, break your other fingers, man. Well, don't break them, just lucky. But anyway, Edelman was 7 for 62 with a touchdown. Had a good game. Hopefully he's okay. Dorsett, 6 for 53. Should be 7 catches, but the NFL decides that catches aren't catches anymore. So, you know. Got a touchdown. Dorsett is an amazing receiver. I, I don't know what the Colts are doing with him. He's a really good player. Uh, Izzo, 1 for 41. Jacoby Myers was good in this game. 2 yeah, for 38. When they used him, yeah. And Burke had 6 for 22. Bolden, 2 for 21. Michelle had one target, but didn't catch it. Um, defensively, McCourty had the pick. Almost scored on it. A 24-yard return. Collins led the team again in tackles. 5, 2 sacks, 3 tackles for a loss. Just a monster game. Just amazing, amazing game. Danny Shelton, 4 tackles. Um, Gilmore was good. The whole secondary was good. The, the def defense was good. I mean, pretty much everybody. Chase Winovich was getting pressure constantly. Um, Steven was better than last week. He made a field goal, made three or four extra points. I thought Jake Bailey was good too, punting. Yeah, he very good. Just, he almost had a 60-yard punt. Yeah, 58-yarder today. Uh, Luke Falk. 12 of 22, 98 yards and a pick. Don't even talk um, about the Jets. They were so bad. They pretty much did nothing. And Bell. There's nothing to even say. 18 carries, 35 yards. There's no and good there's, stats. No there's nothing good to even talk about. So it's just. They did nothing right except those two fluky nothing. things that happened. In fact, Jamal Adams with his pick six got just about as many yards as they did on offense passing the ball. Yeah, that's about the only good 105 thing. 105 yards for the Jets to 382 for the Patriots. Oh, my God. They've scored now, like, what, 95 points in the last three games? Or 100 yeah. points? Something crazy like that. Crazy. I mean, 313 to 69 passing yards. Even rushing yards, they had 69 to 36. The Jets averaged only 2.2 yards per play. This was just ridiculous. I mean, they were dominated. They did not allow a third down conversion in this game, the Patriots defense. That's unbelievable. I mean, that is unbelievable. And so, of course, when, you're, when your offense can't do anything, time of possession was 34-25 for New England, 24-46 for the Jets. I've seen worse, but it's not good. You're not going to win too many games with that kind of disadvantage. Patriots on offense, though, I, I thought that at times they struggled. And... Uh, they're still getting their groove together. They do this every single year. They you was, have to remember they were good, that, but the, they, they It always takes better. them like six or seven games to find their groove. So You're overly critical. Well, well You are. Well, that happens every... That, this is how is they work, good. though. That it takes them like six or seven games to get their mojo, and then they're golden for the rest of the season. I know, but they really should have, had, they really should have been able to score more in this game. But it's okay. They still dominated on all three phases. But offensively, they just could have been a little more in rhythm, particularly in the second quarter. Well, and if we want this video to go up this time today, I think we should probably okay. start wrapping well, whatever. up. whatever. You get no patience. I do, but yeah, okay. long videos take long times to edit. Yeah, I know. So, um, next week, Patriots play... In Buffalo. Buffalo. 
I don't know. Did they? Is that game over? Did they? Oh no, they're still playing. Twenty-one seventeen. Cincinnati has the ball. Buffalo could blow that game. Um, they're also two and zero right now. Yeah, well, they might be two and one, but we'll see. Uh, they'll probably be three and zero. They'll probably beat Cincinnati, but that that will be a harder game. But then again, the Patriots so own Buffalo that they probably blow them away. But who knows? All right. Well, this is Ryzen. And Blitz. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Take care.